वेलकम टू द क्लास ऑफ माइक्रोवेव इनडाल इंजीनियरिंग द सब्जेक्ट कोड इज के ई सी जीरो सेवन फोर एंड दिस वन इज द लेक्चर नंबर ट्वेंटी टू इन द टू डेज लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द बेसिक कंसेप्ट ऑफ द रडार हाउ रडार वर्क एंड वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द रडार रेंज इक्वेशन सो रडार टू डेज टॉपिक फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज द बेसिक इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द रडार इज रडार स्टैंड फॉर वर्ड stands for <coughs> radio detection and ranging and <coughs> in this in this radar electromagnetic system which is a electromagnetic system which radiates energy in the space and detect the echo signal reflected back from a from an object or <coughs> target means this radar is using what radio waves to detect the sub intruder and to calculate the exact distance between the <coughs> radar and the intruder means if i say this is a our area clear and some intruder is there and i have i have to detect no some intruder which can <coughs> harm this area clear so radar is a device which will detect the intruder which is entering into the space of this area clear so this radar is using what radio waves for detection of this intruder and it will calculate the distance between the intruder and the radar so <coughs> it is a electromagnetic system which radiates energy in the space and detects the echo signal reflected back from an object or target means how can it will detect the <coughs> this radar how this radar will detect the object in the space <coughs> now see this radar when this radar or when this device sends or transmits radio waves in the space <coughs> of some particular frequency radio waves of some particular frequency and and particular amplitude and this wave on <coughs> strike with the intruder this wave get reflected back to the radar and <coughs> when the wave is getting reflected back to the radar from here we can detect that some object is in the space which is entering into the space so reflection back the echo signal which is reflected back is the basic concept is the basic principle of the radar from an object or target so this the frequency used in radar is vhf and uhf means very high frequency and the ultra high frequency and the micro frequency with different bands used for different types of radar applications <coughs> generally k band and v bands get absorbed by the atmospheric water vapors and or you can say as resonance frequency of s2 molecule lies in this band therefore this k band and v band v band generally not used for the radar application <coughs> because there is a absorption by the atmospheric water vapors or <coughs> resonance frequency of s2 molecule is also lies in this band <coughs> and in this radar very high power transmitting transmitter is used which is operating at what gigahertz frequency produce a large reflection enabling the radar system to detect the angle distance of the target with good precision or accuracy <coughs> in every kind of weather condition means in darkness also in haze condition fog rainfall snowfall <coughs> this detect this object should be detected so that's why the transmitter the radio waves which is getting transmitted by the radar should have a higher power and should be operated at a high gigahertz frequency but it cannot recognize the colors 
we cannot detect the color of the object some <coughs> radars are de designated to detect the presence of old targets <coughs> whether the target is static or whether the target is moving now these are the applications uh, these are the bands which is used for the radar applications <coughs> first one is the high frequency very high frequency ultra high frequency l s c x k u you will see that there <coughs> hf what type of radars are used coastal radar system vhf frequencies using a very long range ground penetrating long range air traffic control system and surveillance <coughs> is using what l band satellite transponders that is c band between x band and <coughs> s band missile guidance and marine radar weather system these are all using a which band a to 12 gigahertz <coughs> now see this band is very strongly absorbed by the atmosphere therefore it is very less usually used for the radar radar and satellite communication ke this band is also used for the radar and satellite communication that is 110 mega gigahertz to 300 gigahertz now see these are the applications of the radar for the civilian purpose and for the defense purpose <coughs> for the civilian purpose navigation aid on ground a or c for detecting height of plane above the earth for <coughs> instrument landing system for landing aircraft under poor visibility adverse conditions from for this application we will use the radar satellite surveillance by airborne radar system mt radar for de determining the speed of the moving target or ball speed <coughs> in space or guided missile and detecting the speed of moving vehicle or by a police radar is used and in this for the military application <coughs> detecting the ranging of enemy target aiming guns and aircraft bombing sites early warning of regarding ship aircraft or missile <coughs> searching submarines and in guided missile radar is used now the principle of radar <coughs> principle of radar is what when the radar sends a signal sends the radio waves into the space and when this radio waves reflected back by the some object and <coughs> it reaches to the back to the radar then <coughs> we can see that the some object we can conclude that some object is in the space which is entering into the our region the reflected back <coughs> signal from the target reaches the display through duplexer or receiver amplifier now see finally this signal of receiver displays along with the transmitting signal then comparison of these signal gives the delay <coughs> means if i say if i say that <coughs> this transmitter antenna transmitting some signal into the space and this signal hits the or strikes some object in the space and <coughs> this signal get reflected back on striking this space this signal get reflected back by the object to the radar system and this one is what duplexer duplexer is a device or antenna which is <coughs> acting both as a transmitter and the receiver clear now see how much distance it is covered by this antenna uh, how much distance is it is covered by the radio waves that is if i say the distance is between the target and the radar or antenna is d so total distance will be what that is covered by 2 into my d <coughs> as we know that the speed of flight is speed of the signal can be maximum is equal to speed of flight that is distance <coughs> equal to 
स्पीड मल्टीप्लाई में टाइम स्पीड इज वॉट सी टाइम हाउ मच टाइम इट टेक्स टू फॉर द सिंगल टू रिटर्न बैक टू दिस दैट इज टी डी एंड दिस टी डी दिस डिले इक्वल टू टू इंटू में डी डिवाइड बाय सी क्लियर क्लियर और यू कैन से डेट इफ आई से दिस डिस्टेंस डी इज कैन ऑल्सो बी कैलकुलेटेड इज इक्वल टू वट टू इंटू में सी डिवाइडेड बाय टू इंटू में सी डिवाइड बाय टी डी क्लियर सो द वेलॉसिटी ऑफ सो द डिस्टेंस और द रेंज और द डिस्टेंस ऑफ द टारगेट एट द मोमेंट ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन विल बी इक्वल टू वट आर इक्वल टू सी इंटू में आर इक्वल टू सी इंटू में टू सॉरी दिस विल बी टू सी इंटू में टी डी डिवाइड बाय टू क्लियर यू विल सी हेयर डैट डैट दिस इज एंटीना सिस्टम और दिस वन इज डिटेक्टर दिस डुप्लेक्सर सॉरी This duplexer is can be act as a transmitter and the receiver at the same time when it is transmitting the signal <coughs> to the target, and this plane is getting uh, the signal. Then the, this signal, the radio waves, reflected by this object, and this signal which is reflected back is getting back to this side. <coughs> so this one is the transmitted signal, and this one is the reflected signal, the echo signal. maximum unambiguous range the echoes that arrive after the transmission of next pulse is called a second time around and or multi time multiple time around echoes the echoes which is getting arrived after a second time around that is known as a what are known as a second time around clear the range beyond which the target appear as a second time around echoes are known as a maximum unambiguous range clear now see the radar system consist of what mainly the radar system consist of mainly what this one antenna duplexer transmitter display and the receiver now see the radar system consist of mainly of five units first one is transmitter second one is duplexer transmitter is what transmitter generates what generates a microwave signal or it can so therefore it consist of microwave source klystron twt or microwave along with an amplifier and modulator which generates a <coughs> microwave signal and sends it to the send this signal to the duplexer clear so in the duplexer there is there is a switch which alternative which alternatively connect the antenna either with transmitter or the receiver means this duplexer <coughs> is a device and <coughs> this duplexer can be act as a transmitter or it can be act as a receiver at the some particular time so for switching the purpose For switching it for there is a switch. So its purpose is to protect the receiver from high watt of power of transmitter. And during the transmission, tra during the time of transmission of the outgoing pulse, the duplexer will connect to the antenna to the transmitter. Means during the transmission, this duplexer will be connected to the transmitter. And <coughs> during the reception, this duplexer. will be connected to the receiver and it will not connect to the at that time it will not connect to the transmitter and during the transmission also during the transmission also receiver duplexer you will not be connected to the receiver clear so when the reflected echo pulse is coming back then it will connect an antenna with the receiver so duplexer consists of what antenna that antenna is can be act as a transmitter 
or receiver at the same particular time. So antenna is what? <coughs> it transmit as well as receives the echo signal or transmit the radio signal. <coughs> the antenna must send a signal as well as focus the small angle beam so that the position of the target is known accurately. So antenna must have what? what? Antenna must have its must have its enough or smaller beam or beam angle so that it can detect the it can detect the or <coughs> differentiate the different object in this space clear so the antenna must send a signal as well as a focus angle beam so that the position of the target is known accurately okay so its beam should be of <coughs> very small angle so that the position of exact target can also be known using a from the antenna clear now next <coughs> block diagram is the receiver now see this receiver is generally will use what super heterodyne receiver with the intermediate frequency of 30 or 60 megahertz and <coughs> in the receiver also will use what balance mixer and delay line is um, circuit is used for cancelling the clutter or unwanted noise and now <coughs> after getting a receiver there will be a display in the receiver also we will see that there is a some block diagram which will decide the minimum detectable signal for the or threshold signal <coughs> now next one is the display and display is the output device in which we will see the exact position or exact location of the target so the dart display is just like a computer monitor screen there are following types of displays x and y scale a scale in which range angle of elevation azimuth angle and height can be shown using a different types of displays next one is the radar range equation now this equation <coughs> relates the range of radar to the characteristics of the transmitter receiver antenna target in the environment now if i say this is a duplexer and this duplexer is connected to the antenna and this transmits the signal into the space and some signal get reflected by like this one means if i say this is reflection and this is incident <coughs> now see if i say this antenna is transmitting its uh, transmitted its power or radiates its energy into the space of this area of this sphere and this distance between this space this antenna and this object is r let's say the distance is r clear so now say and the transmitted power is pt by the antenna now see if transmitted power pt is radiated by what if transmitted power pt is radiated by isotropic antenna if I am using early, earlier the isotropic antenna which radiates energy in all the directions of equal magnitude transmitted power of PUT, then the power density at a distance R means the power density at a distance object. If I say the object and distance between this one is R and this one is antenna, <coughs> the power density at distance R 
will be equal to what? Total radiated power divided by surface area of imaginary sphere. Then this one. Clear? So that is equal to Pt upon my 4 pi r square. Now see if this <coughs> when this signal is strike to the object and <coughs> now first first we will see what if I say the maximum gain of antenna as we know that the <coughs> if I consider the gain of antenna the maximum gain of antenna equal to what maximum power density radiated by directive antenna divided by power density radiated by the lossless isotropic antenna okay so now see if I use, if I am using a, earlier we have used what, if I, I, I have considered that this is a isotropic antenna, if I consider this is, is a directive antenna, <coughs> which radiates energy in a particular direction, so the power density at a distance r from directive antenna at a target, that is target means at a distance r, that is then it will be called pt into me, g means g is equal to what, gain of transmitting antenna upon my 4 pi r square <coughs> now if i say this if i say this antenna strikes a tar this waves strikes a object and this object has some cross section area when it strikes the object at some particular area and this wave get reflected back. So the radar cross section of the target determines what power density power density turn to the radar for a particular power density incident on the target that is re-radiated power density at the radar is equal to what p t into g upon 4 pi r square multiply me sigma upon 4 pi r square means if I say this antenna is rotating energy to the target <coughs> and when this target this is <coughs> this wave strikes the target at a particular some area and this get reflected back to the radar <coughs> and the radar has some cross section area which will what then the re-radiated power density at the radar will be equal to what Pt into me g upon me 4 pi r square into me sigma upon me 4 pi r square sigma is equal to what the dark cross section of the target means how much area <coughs> at how much area it will strike the target means if I say the target is of this area and the wave is strike on this particular area this the dark cross section area of the target <coughs> then the power density return to the radar the power density return to the radar will be equal to what you transmit ke di, multiply me <coughs> itna area me ke multi, uh, <coughs> that is will be equal to sigma upon 4 pi r square now see now this area this radiated re, uh, reflected energy is captured by what antenna receiver antenna and this receiver antenna has some its capture uh, effective uh, aperture area and this effective aperture area if I say this is effective aperture area that is AE equal to what antenna aperture efficiency multiply me its physical area of physical area of receiver and an receiving antenna then PR equal to PT into me G upon 4 pi R square multiply me sigma upon 4 pi R square multiply me AE. So, <coughs> now if I say minimum power which is to be detected by the this is the received power which is of the echo signal PR is what received power of the echo signal after striking back <coughs> after reflecting back so pr equal to what this one if i say if i want to calculate the minimum detectable power by the radar to detect the optic to take the uh, object in the space that will be equal to 
पी आर विल बिकम इक्वल टू वट एस मिनिमम एंड मिनिमम पावर डिटेक्टेबल सिग्नल विल बी मिनिमम विल बी वेन वेन डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम दिस एंटीना टू द टारगेट फ्रॉम दिस एंटीना टू द टारगेट इज मैक्सिमम दैट विल बी आर देन आर मैक्स आर विल बी वट आर बी कम यूल आर मैक्स एंड एस मिनिमम विल बी कम यूर पी आर देन आर मैक्स इक्वल टू पी टी इंटू में जी अपॉन में ए सिग्मा आर सिग्मा अपॉन में फोर पाई का होल स्क्वायर मल्टीप्लाई में एस मिनिमम के होल पार में वन बाय फोर सो दिस वन इज दर इक्वेशन इन दिस वी हैव नॉट कंसिडर्ड द सम ऑफ द पैरामीटर्स फॉर एग्जैक्ट कैलकुलेशन दिस इज द बेसिक रेडार रेंज क्वेश्चन so this will minimum detectable signal and when there is a uh, minimum detectable signal then is the threshold value <coughs> threshold value of the signal so that we can cannot detect the we can <coughs> not miss the any alarm and we cannot miss any object in the space and we cannot detect unwanted target unwanted target to the real target <coughs> so there may be a chance of probability of miss and the and the probability of false alarm in the next lecture we will discuss about the probability of <coughs> probability of false what is the probability of miss alarm and the probability of false alarm the book i have referred for preparing the slides that is माइक्रोवेव रडार एंड आर एफ इंजीनियरिंग प्रकाश कुमार चतुर्वेदी स्पिंजर एंड इंट्रोडक्शन टू रडार सिस्टम बाय स्कॉलनिक थर्ड एडिशन मेग्रा हिल एजुकेशन थैंक यू